Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about some of the diet changes that I'm implementing because like I said in my last pregnancy update, I'm trying to increase my iron levels. So I've been changing my diet up a little bit and I just want to show you what I've been eating throughout the day. I hope if there's another mom out there who's struggling with the same, if they detected anemia in your system or if you just want to increase your iron levels or even if you're just a vegan and you're trying to increase iron levels with a plant-based diet, hopefully this video can help you out a little bit. So before we start, I wanted to show you this graphic that I found online that covers some plant-based iron sources like leafy greens, beans, seeds, and other things. But this is definitely not everything, so make sure you check online for other sources. I apologize for how dark it is here. I started my workout as soon as I woke up, so it was still kind of early. But here I'm just trying to do something light because I am in the third trimester so I've been getting a lot more tired lately. But I'm just trying to stay active and do something to move my body. For those of you who are new to the channel, thank you so much for being here. My name is Lola and I like to post pregnancy update videos every week just to keep up with what's going on during my pregnancy. Last week, I shared that I got my glucose levels tested and everything was okay with that but they also detected anemia in my system so I got prescribed some medication to increase my levels but I'm on top of that I'm also changing up my diet to just try and do the best that I can. So the first meal of the day is an oats and banana and molasses breakfast bowl. And here I'm just using some flax milk because flax seeds are high in iron. And I also am using one cup of flax milk and half a cup of oats. Again, oats are also high in iron, so that's good. And I added some cinnamon just to make it a little more tasty. And I like to cook my oats over the stove instead of the microwave. And this is the finished product. I really like how the oats taste with the molasses. After breakfast, I started cooking some beans. And I'm not gonna have the beans now, but I just like to start cooking them early so that I can use them for later for dinner. So here I'm chopping some lacinato kale, also known as dinosaur kale. And this is my favorite kind of kale. I just think it's a lot softer than the regular kale that you can find at the stores and our HEB or our grocery store doesn't always have it but when they do I prefer to take this kale home. So here I'm preparing a tahini dressing and I'm gonna mix a little bit of tahini with some water, a little bit of lime juice and some garlic salt and I found this tahini at um, HEB so if you're in Texas I would check out your HEB and see if they carry it. I know that different HEBs carry different things so you might just have to check. So here I'm putting some of that chopped kale into a bowl with cooked quinoa that I had cooked pre previously and then I'm chopping some sweet potatoes into cubes and I'm gonna add that to the bowl and top it with the tahini dressing that I just made. This is the finished product and it tastes 
so good i highly recommend this meal and if you want to add a little bit more protein and also add a little bit more iron you can cut some tofu into cubes and or strips and add it to the bowl like i did here so for dinner i made some chili and i actually use masarina to thicken my chili because i like it to be a little bit thicker so if you can find some masarina from the brand maseca or any other brand i highly recommend it because it makes the chili a lot thicker and this is what they actually used for corn tortillas i also use some masarina in this cornbread and i'll have to put the recipe for you guys in my blog because it came out really well and it went perfect with the chili so now i'm going to talk about some of the snacks i had that day and throughout the week some of them are smoothies and i like to use that flax milk that i told you guys about and i also like to have some fruit primarily oranges because vitamin c increases your absorption of iron so that's something to keep in mind and i also add some lime or lemon into my water just to try and increase the vitamin c content then i found this yogurt by daya my husband actually was the one who found it and he brought it to me and it's it's got some iron in it so i thought that was a good a good choice for a snack and then also some shredded coconut. This is a natural one unsweetened. Some figs. And then I found this protein crunch trail mix that is vegan. And this one is an HEB brand. Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting my channel. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'd love to know your opinions. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.